hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can quickly customize some metahuman expressions using morph targets in this case so we're not uh, gonna customize them by uh, moving the dna bones in this example but we're just gonna customize quickly the morph targets associated with the expressions so uh, let's uh, get started for starter we want to modify jaw open which uh, looks uh, like this and automatically when you select uh, on a dna expression the associated corrective morph target uh, gets also selected so you know which uh, expression to modify so let's uh, modify a little bit uh, this expression we double click on it on the associated morph target we select any tool and uh, we can just uh, Customize a little bit what's going on with our actually let's modify only make sure we only modify the uh, uh, the skin shader so kind of like this we just want something small but visible right So now each time uh, when our character will open its uh, his jaw, uh, he will uh, have uh, this uh, lip deformation. Uh, let's close this and uh, let's. So this is how it looks now. Each time we trigger the expression, we will get that lip deformation. Uh, we can also uh, export uh, the expression. So in case uh, we don't uh, want to use mesh morpher or we find that mesh morpher uh, is limited uh, with our uh, sculpting needs we can also export uh, the expression let's go with corner pool and we can export this to obj right so we enable the expression as well export obj just save it wherever you want Uh, we re-enable it and go to create from mesh files and now let's open blender or zbrush or whatever other software you feel more comfortable with let's open our obj and uh, here we can uh, customize our uh, morph target right so let's do something uh, super fast let's increase a little bit of it yes let's use grab tool and let's just make something silly like this okay and now let's export it We uh, save uh, to a new obj file our uh, changes because we will use this in mesh buffer. And now uh, with the pose selected, so don't forget when you uh, go to create from mesh files, you select the pose, you the expression you want to update, create from mesh files, select your file, which is going to be out corner pool this is our base pose and our changed pose as well mount corner pool l we're gonna name it you can match by uv if you're having problems uh, with uh, importing the obj files let's see our result Now, first thing we have to do, we need to rename our new morph target. We just right click on the associated the morph target with the expression. We right click on it. And we either click rename and copy paste from here or we select copy name. We need to remove this. And let's rename our new morph target to the old name. And let's test it out. 
now our new expression this is the right side and this is the left side uh, now our new expression wor works uh, as uh, we sculpted it so this is how you customize expressions uh, with more targets you can also customize them with uh, dna bone expressions directly by using poser but for this approach we use only morph targets so this is it for this video guys uh, thank you for watching and see you around bye